take a look at what the Mac operating system looks like and how you're going to use the computer in class. Specifically, how do you set it up to do what you need to do on a daily basis? First thing you're going to do is turn the computer on and you're going to find the power switch on the back left hand side of it. Start by turning the computer on and then you'll be prompted to log in to the district's website. Welcome. What we're going to do today is we're going to get your Macintosh set up for you to use during class this term. We'll show you some basics on how to navigate the Mac, set up the dock, and use the finder. First thing you're going to do is turn the computer on and you'll find the power switch on the back left hand side of the computer. You'll press the button. And when the computer loads, you'll be prompted to log in to the district's network. Use your login credentials. Password. Click connect and you will be in to the system. When you first log in on the Mac, you're going to see a screen that looks like what you're seeing right here. This is called the desktop. And when you're in the desktop, the first thing you'll probably notice is down along the bottom there is an item called the dock. And the dock is a series of shortcuts that will take you to those programs or applications that you use most often. So the first thing we're going to do today is set up our dock. What I'd like you to do when you get to class is set up the dock in a way that works for you. Remove those icons that you won't be using and those that you will. For instance, rarely do we use GarageBand in class. To remove that, I can click and drag it right off the dock and it will disappear. The calendar application. I don't use this one on this computer, so I'm going to get rid of that one. We're not deleting the applications, we're simply removing the shortcut from the dock. Mail application, don't use here, so I'm going to drag and drop that off the dock as well. Now there are applications that you will need and will be using on a daily basis, and I'd like you to add those to the dock. Let me show you how to find them. Whenever you want to find an application, you're going to go to the Finder itself. That's this little blue icon here, marked Finder, little smiley face. And if you click on that, you will get a window that will open, and it will show you everything located on your computer. Notice there's an area called Favorites to the left, where you can find your downloads, your documents, your movies. If you're, if you're used to using a PC, this would be similar to my computer icon. You'll notice there are shared icons here as well. These are different file servers throughout the Plugged in a flash drive, that would show up here. If you plugged in a CD or DVD, that would show up here as well. So the finder is where you find items. So this first window we're looking at is a finder window. Now, we're talking about adding applications to my dock on the bottom. And it would be logical then that any application or program would be located in the application folder. So I'm going to open the applications folder and you'll notice that in the folder you'll find a variety of different applications that are available for you to use on this Mac. The applications you can use most often will be the Adobe Suite, which includes Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Photoshop. So we'd like to add some shortcuts to the dock so that every time you want to use the software, it's much faster for you to access it. Here's what you do. If I wanted to add Adobe Illustrator to the dock, I'm going to double click on Adobe Illustrator to open up the folder. I'm going to find the software itself, which is the square icon, and I'm going to click and drag that to the dock. Be careful that you get it on the dock and not simply on the desktop, because that would copy the program to that location rather than just create a short I'm going to go back by clicking on the back arrow here, and I'm going to open up Adobe InDesign, or at least the folder. As far as your web
web browsers go, you may also be using Google Chrome in addition to the default browser, which is Safari on the Mac. So you might drag that down as well. And I'm going to put that one right next to Safari. And items can be moved around the dock. You'll notice when I mouse over on them, that item gets larger. So that's how you modify the dock. Now, a couple other things real quickly about the dock and the finder. To close the finder window, you can simply click the little black, or excuse me, the little red box right here. That will close it. And let's take a further look at the dock. Now, on the dock, you'll notice that there is a icon here where I can enlarge or reduce the dock. Or, I can even go into the system preferences, which is kind of the settings for my computer. Click on System Preferences, click on Dock, and you'll notice I can do the similar thing there. I can change the dock size, I can change where the dock is located on my computer, and I can do other settings down below here as well. So that's pretty much setting up and using the dock. The next video will show you a little bit more about how to use the binder to locate files and to 